Hi everyone, welcome back to Satoko World Financial Academy. So today, we're going to talk about cash. But let's review first. So last couple lessons, we have learned about real wealth and what is money, right? And I have introduced you guys to Satoko's Financial Gym. So we go to the gym for your our physical health. So why not for financial health, right? And there are five steps. First, get to know your money. Second, reduce and get rid of your debt. Third, protect your money. And then the fourth, let your money protect you. And then the five, let your money make money. Another word, investment. And our first assignment was check your transactions daily. And I know for some of you, it's painful. Though I have been there, it is painful. But just be at it. And there are three reasons why we should do this, right? The first, we have to catch the fraud immediately if there is any. And then the second, we're gonna be aware of our expenditure. And then the third, I revealed the secret of the debts, right? The debts hate attention. And then the last lesson, our assignment was track and record your money daily. So we're going to actually write it down our transactions. And I introduced a couple apps, right? The app I use is Dollarbird, that's a paid subscription. And then the free one is called Mint. And it doesn't matter what app or even piece of paper you're writing, but important thing is you're going to track your money. Remember, progress equals happiness, not the perfection. We need to see the progress, right? And there are steps to the progress. The first step is to decide. If you're still watching this channel, you must have decided to take control of your finance. And then the second, we have to act. So we have started acting for our financial health. And then the third, we have to measure. Yes, we're starting to measure by tracking our money. And now, today, we're going to uh, talk about cash is king or cash is trash. <laughs> and you probably have heard this term at some point. And so those assignments, we were talking about get to know your money, right? And today we are going to jump to number four, let your money protect you because this is so important that we get on it right away, I feel. so. Uh, so yeah, the cash is king or cash is trash. What is my answer? Well, it's both. <laughs> so cash is king. You heard it because during the COVID, many businesses went bankrupt because they didn't have cash, right? And for many investors, cash is trash because inflation is happening and you know the saving account pays like little tiny bit of interest and which I totally understand, but we need to have the right balance. We need to find the right balance for ourselves. So I'm not here to tell you this is a balance. I'm here to guide you what is the right balance for you, all right? And we have to become, well, we must become CEO of our finance. So we have to see our finance as if it's your own company actually not just finance, your life. And there are three spiritual challenges in life. And surprisingly, money is one of them too. And the first one is physical body. No, it's so hard, right? When you see the yummy stuff and tasty wines and you don't wanna to go to work out. Yeah, it's hard, I can tell. And then the second, intimate relationship. Yeah. I don't have to say anything, but I know many of you guys can agree with me. Yeah, it's not easy, but you know, we gotta keep at it, right? <laughs> and then the third, tr taking care of your money. So money is a spiritual challenge, one of the spiritual challenges. So, you know, we sometimes love money just when we receive money. And we might hate money when we have to pay. So. In a way, we must start loving money unconditionally. And now, today's lesson. I'm gonna get into today's lesson. We're going to learn about protection funds. So there are two protection funds. 
The first one is the emergency funds. You probably heard of this emergency fund, but we're not going to talk about emergency fund today. We are going to talk about the second fund, which is super emergency fund. Well, I actually named it <laughs> super emergency fund. So what's super emergency fund? So super emergency fund is the cash that you have it with you, not in the bank actually physically with you the cash money that you can live off within uh, between two to three days if there is actual emergency like earthquake hurricanes and you know the ATM machine stop working that kind of thing and for Canadians it must be really new you probably well you do remember the outage of uh, one of the um, uh, major telecommunications companies uh, so when I woke up in the morning that day, there was no internet, there was no data, and there was, of course, no communication, no telephone, I couldn't even make a phone call. And some of my friends and stuff, they were messaging me, I can't use my credit card, I can't withdraw money from an ATM machine. And it has happened, like, I'm talking like two, three weeks ago. And yeah, some of them didn't have any cash at all, and me? I had some cash because I believed in super emergency fund. So it doesn't have to be a lot of money. I would recommend between 200 and 500, depending on um, numbers of the um, in a household. Like me, I live by myself, so I carry, I have $300 of super emergency fund and I carry 100 of them and 200 I just stash it at home. So there are a couple of reasons uh, why we should have it. The first reason I just talked to you about ATM or credit card not working and then the second reason is you may get some discounts by paying by cash and it still exists. So sometimes you get like 10-15% or no tax if you pay by cash and that's why I carry $100 with me. And when I finish using $100, I actually withdraw $100. So this how much that you wanna have your emergency, uh, super emergency fund is depending on you. You know, that you probably can tell how much money you may be comfortable having it with you. So today's assignment is to decide how much you need for super emergency fund and to actually have it with you. For some people, this $200, $300, it may be hard to come by, but commit to it. Every paycheck, just take $50 and have it with you. And, you know, stash it, carry it, you know, whatever you decide. But this is my recommendation, minimum $200. And if you have bigger family, and then have, you know, maybe $500. That is my recommendation. So today's lesson was about cash and protection funds. Thank you for watching guys. If you still haven't, please subscribe. And if you like, please press the like button. Arigato. So if you want to pro um, expedite your progress and work with me, please message me at satokoworld at outlook.com. So I'll see you guys in 10 days and let's start wealthy and we're gonna be wealthier. <laughs> Bye guys.